Yeah, what's up guys? Sean here, aka I'm a flying midget dudes. Welcome back to Theme Park Tycoon 2. You know I can never miss one of these videos. What's good? We back in here. Um, updates. Let's start out with some updates, you know? Before we go into the really cool park I'm gonna show off, as usual, as you guys are probably familiar with now, um, and a lot of you guys have been tweeting at me some great parks and things like that, guys. I know we've got a lot of Halloween parks that have been tweeting at me, things like that. Make sure you guys tweet me some pictures of them, not just saying, like, hey, Midget, I got a cool park, can you show it off? If you guys want to see a cool, if you guys want your park to be shown off, then tweet me some pictures, alright? Tweet me some pictures, I'll see them, and then we can go and, and, and show them off. But anyway, we are showing off a really cool park today um, that's pretty unique and I think just something that probably took a lot of time to do and it's really cool to kind of show off so I figured I'd do it. I'm um, trying to think of some of the updates we got Rock and I've been trying to just sporadically raise our rating. Um, it's kind of annoying. But um, I'm trying to raise our rating. We're a three-star park right now. I know once we open this up, we should raise the happiness and all that stuff of, uh, of a lot of the... Um, of a lot of the guests and things like that, but um, if you guys have some good strategies for kind of raising my rating right now, let me know in the comments. Um, the park's pretty clean. There's really no trash anywhere. Um, it's well lit. We got food kind of like there's some food there. There's some food in there. Um, I could probably add some more food now that I look at it. We could probably more add more food in this area, but it doesn't matter because no one's over there yet. I think we can add some more food in over there. I'm not really quite sure. I know there's a little bit over there. Um, there's some stuff over there. I've been I've been trying to add in some bathrooms and stuff like that. I got some bath. I put in some bathrooms right there. I think I've got some bathrooms I put in up there, or maybe one or two in there. I've been trying to get more things in the park so we can raise our rating. Cause that three star review is really making me mad at this point. Cause we got a lot of time going in. As you guys can kind of see over here, did a little bit of work right here. I'm gonna kind of um. I mean, I guess I can kind of add a little bit to right now, but I made it a little bit too much uh, kind of like water focus and I wanted to be more kind of hidden away in the cave. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is actually um, building kind of some more stone around here to make this mountain come out a little bit more. Um, and with the mountain out a little bit more, it'll kind of be like, let you won't really notice this. Like, I think that just looks a little bit awkward right there. Um, and this area over here is honestly, it's meant to kind of be brought out a little bit further. So I think... Um, I gotta add a little bit more over here and kind of make it look a little bit more legit, but I think it looks uh, it looks decent right now. It's not like terrible, um, but it could definitely be worked on and whatnot. And I think that even like just doing this right here makes it look a lot better. Just kind of make it make it, oh not that making it look a little bit more kind of cave cavey instead of just like an opening. Like you don't necessarily want it to just be like an opening. We want it to kind of look more like a cave, like a cave opening, right? So something kind of like this. I don't know. I'll, I'll get a little unique with kind of some slanted pieces and in, in some stuff over there to kind of make that look good. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of the, the, the vibe I'm rolling for right now. I'm not really sure if I'm getting that vibe, but that's kind of what I'm going for, right? So that's kind of what I'm going for in this area, and it's looking, it's looking decent. I don't know, I want to know your guys' feedback on it, though. What do you guys, oop, didn't mean to do that. I want to know your guys' feedback on it, though. What do you guys, what do you guys think about it over here? I think it looks decent. I think it looks decent. Again, lots of work that can kind of be, do I mean, I could even, like, bring this out all the way to here and even, like, kind of do something like this. I don't know. I don't know. We can get, we can get weird. We can get weird, dudes. We can get really weird with it. Make it look, uh, make it look kind of nice, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's always kind of some random building when you do things like this, but, um, I think that looks decent, right? I mean, it already looks a lot better. Obviously, the top of the cave looks like poo-poo. Up here looks really bad, but we're gonna kind of do, do some terraforming, make that look really good. Throw some trees on it. Throw some trees on it! And it'll be, it'll be solid. I think it'll be really solid. I think all that's looking kind of okay, kind of good. Um... Yeah, that makes it look a little bit more like a cave. Make it, you know, clean it up over here a little bit, but that'll that'll kind of make her make, make us look a little bit better. I kind of added in the water over here. We still need to change the color of the water. This will then be kind of brought. Like I can even actually, I can honestly probably just unleash the gates right now. Just unleash the freaking gates right now. Bam, and then remove all this stuff, and we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. I mean, this is all gonna be water over here, so it's gonna look. Um, in my opinion, it's going to look a lot better. That cave's going to be kind of jutting out over there, and then it's just going to be all water right here. Not sure if I want to leave this platform, maybe throw a right on it yet, or to kind of just, like, do do something cool right here. Maybe, like, a bridge. I mean, dude, not, I mean, it's all technically a bridge, but we could do something really cool. Not entirely sure. Lots of stuff that we can still be doing to our park, which I'm really excited about. We're not even, um, I mean, you know, we are getting closer to getting it kind of completed, but we're not even close to finishing it, which is good, which means more, more Theme Park Tycoon 2 videos and stuff like that. Definitely want to clean that area up a little bit. I've decided to kind of leave that tree. I don't know. It adds a little bit of some difference to the park. It looks it looks kind of cool. I don't know. It looks kind of cute. It's that cute little look. But I think we need to kind of clean that area up a little bit, make it more detailed, and then really just do lots of minute details throughout the park, raise our rating, those kind of things, do all that kind of stuff, you know? We're getting there. We're getting there, dudes. But anyways, all right, let's go ahead and... Um, 
let's show off the really cool part today, which I'm uh, pretty stoked about because it's it's a cool little unique-ish type theme that's, you know, I, I've kind of seen some similar stuff, but um, I think the idea behind it was really cool. So, you know what? I was like, let's freaking do it. Let's freaking do it. So, this park right here, skadoop, boom! It's built by the homie Aiko, I hope I'm saying that correctly, Aiko 1250, um, she's very talented, really awesome, look at this right here, boom, look at this thing, holy cow, we got the NASA swag going on, Wait, she got an official title for it, Space Station NASA HQ, Space Station NASA HQ, which is really cool, so I like to think of this as like a, a Tesla, kind of, not a Tesla, but like a, you know, an, an Elon, Elon Musk type SpaceX kind of thing, which I think looks really cool, but, um, yeah, it's just supposed to be really modern spaceship kind of style themed and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and let's take a little look. Let's take a little look around here. I think the graphics, honestly, guys, for all those out there who are trying to make their parks really cool, guys, the, cool, the, the coolest thing that people see when they go to your park is the uniqueness. So when I look at this, I'm like, all right, already the Endeavor is super unique. Like, literally, they're all letters. Um, you know, the, the custom graphics are in there. Got the different flags, like, you know, like the, the kind of NASA feel to it. And then just the buildings. The buildings look really cool. And things like that. This is all really unique stuff, guys. And if you're looking to build a really cool park and, and maybe getting it shown off and stuff like that, is you want to go for some super unique stuff. And this is what was really crazy as well. All these rides, like, th the color schemes on them you never really see. But that's the cool part because it's, like, futuristic. It's, like, fully black, fully yellow, vibrant. Let's get it. Let's go. Teacups pink. Like, I like it. You know, it's giving that kind of futuristic kind of feel to it. Um, and there's rides in all the buildings, right? So there's rides in all the buildings, and I think the tops of them really look, it's not just like a flat building. Like, it's even got like some kind of like, you know, radio towers, kind of antennas, some like barrels and stuff, kind of makes it look a little more industrial. I think it looks really cool. I think, uh, I think she did a phenomenal job on this, and the doors, the custom doors make things look really good, guys. These are all great building tips when you guys are kind of like building your own parks. These are all some amazing building tips. The parking lot, great great we got a bridge right there i like the helicopter pads on these buildings things just look really good they really come together really nicely oh dude let's go for a little swim let's go for a little swim but that's also really cool because i've shown off some cool parks where they look cool but they don't really have any rides in them or anything like that this is still a theme park this is still a theme park i mean we still got we got the parking for the theme park we got all the buildings we got the rides inside the buildings which is really cool i like the the street lamps as well they're kind of giving off a nice little nice little kind of vibrant feel oh dude look at this guy the detail, man. The NASA swag right there. He's like, what's good? Chill. He's like, what's good? What's good? Um, what do we got over here? What do we got over here? We got some... What is that? Is that the... Oh, it's just a little eating area? Okay. Man, I really like those doors. Those doors look really good. A little eating area in here? All right, I dig it. I dig it. All right, let's get to the good stuff. You know what I mean? Let's get to the good stuff. Well, let's go in this building first. Let's go in this building. I think we got a coaster in here. Which one's this? Vertical launch? Okay. Whoa. Actually, kind of a good-looking coaster. I dig that. I dig that. Really cool. I like when you can kind of like jam pack rides into like some really tight quarters like that. So it's really sick. Got a nice little bridge here. Things are looking good. All right, should we go ahead and should we, should we fly around? I think flying around honestly makes the park so much fun to look at. But this is really cool in, cool in here as well. Got the Ferris wheel, Fireball, and the, uh, what's this thing called? Oh, no, I don't want to, I don't want to forget it. So I'm going to go in here. I think it's called, it's not the Free Fall. It's the, it's the, it's the newer one. Launched Free Fall. Wait, maybe it is the Free Fall. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting confused now. But anyway, so there's that that big ride in there. We got some coasters in there and stuff like that. We can go ahead and we can fly through. But the coolest part, in my opinion, is in the back, which we'll get to, is the rocket over there, which we'll get to. We'll get to. But all right. This is neat. Oh, the the little 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 ride that I messed up the other day. See, I'm terrible with ride names. Like, I should just give up on ride names. The swag ride. That's Frisbee ride, I think. I don't know. That's not Frisbee. That's Voltatron, Vomitron thing. Who cares? I don't know. I always forget the names of rides because we always name them. And I'm like, okay, I remember the name that we named it, but not the actual name that Dennis, the creator, gave it. But check this out, dudes. What spaceship status right now? Really cool. So it's it looks very simple, right? You're like, midget, that's very simple. But it's actually pretty detailed. So you see that these are like the fuel cells, right? These are the fuel cells on the rocket, both sides of it, even the major kind of fuel cell in the middle. And this is actually, well, this is supposed to be the actual... Um, like like spaceship. These are what the astronauts are inside of. Oh, that would have been sick if there were astronauts inside of here. That would be next level. Um, but that's where the astronauts sit. So so the big the big kind of things on the side, the cylinders shoot the rocket into the atmosphere, right? And then like like oh, that that's just filled with fuel, gets it going all the way up. And then this guy right here is where the astronauts are in, which is really cool with their own kind of propellers. We got some. Oh, Arizona Cardinals. Yo, let's get it. That's where I'm from, baby. Arizona. Arizona Cardinals swag on the helmets. I feel it. I feel it. Okay, we got some NASA gear. Looks good. 
I think it looks really good. I want to actually come run over here as well. I don't just want to fly around that. I kind of want to, kind of want to run around. Oh, dude, dude, we go underground for this checking point. Okay, swag. Wait, is there multiple areas we can go? No way. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Okay, it's just a little underground kind of security tunnel. All right, but really cool. Really, really cool, unique. I think this is a sick park. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think she did a phenomenal job with this. This is a really cool kind of rocket. And I think that there's um, there's plans for her next park, which is really cool, and throw some good little storyline in it, guys. Um, is her next park idea is, I think, to uh, wherever the rocket ship goes, that's going to be her next park. So, like, you'll see, like, the rocket ship landed on maybe, like, a Mars-type park or something like that, which I think is really sick. And if you guys are out there looking for ideas, this stuff is gold. This stuff is absolute gold right now. Um, I like this over here. NASA. NASA looks really good. Got a little kind of see-through building over there. We can go and we can fly around in it so you guys can kind of see it as well. But that's pretty much the park, my dudes. I mean, that is that is pretty much the park. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's a really unique park. I mean, it's not it's not super complex. You don't need to be the best builder in the world to build this epic park. Like you do, like it's really not that intense, right? I mean, it the buildings are fairly simple. Once you get one design going, you just kind of replicate different sizes, different kind of details here and there. But it's relatively simple. It's nothing crazy. Simple trees along the park. Simple kind of stuff. The simple like rocket ship and everything. But it looks really good. Like overall, the park looks so sick. And that's all it really takes is a unique idea, a little bit of time, and bam. You got yourself something really sick like this, guys. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys thought this was a cool park, out of 10 stars, go down there. Is it, is it a 10 out of 10? I think it's a 10 out of 10. I think it's really cool. Um, and I know that uh, the creators of the parks always like seeing the comments, guys. So leave some down there. Smash the like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, if you haven't already, you guys already know the drill. Make sure you be fly and subscribe. Okay. okay, yeah, I'm a flyer. It's a creepy hit, it's been a killin' with the brothers fillin' up the villain, chillin' bout to make a killin' villain, always villain, better stack it to the ceiling. Uh. Haters over there, we're not aware of ya. Rockin' with my boy Shawnee, a character. Rep the red, white, and blue, America.